Okay guys, so we're going to talk about what assembly language is. Now in your processor, you have what's known as an instruction set. Now these are basically hardwired circuits to perform certain instructions, such as adding two numbers together, for example. Now, before we had assembly language, people would have to write these instructions by hand or manually. Now th this was very tedious because instructions are basically binary numbers and they're quite complicated and remembering them is very difficult. So that's why assembly language was created. And what assembly language is, it's a human readable way of representing machine code or, or instructions in an instruction set. So what we do is we write assembly language, we pass it through what's known as an assembler and that takes our uh, written assembly language that we've wrote and it basically just compiles it, or assembles it, I should say, into machine code so that it can be run directly on the processor. So once, it's, once, it's, once it has become machine code, it basically can just be read directly from the processor, and the processor will start executing whatever those machine codes are. It could be the machine code to add two numbers together. It could be the machine code to call a subroutine. So that's what assembly language is. Simply put, it's just a way of representing machine code in a human readable way. You can't run assembly language on a processor. It has to be assembled into machine code first. Much like if you were coding in a higher level language, it might need to be compiled first before it can be run. It's exactly the same with assembly language.